Dave Chappelle has a new comedy special. It's on Netflix. Dave Chappelle, The Closer, premieres today. Netflix and Chappelle patched up their rocky relationship earlier this year when the two sides agreed to a new streaming agreement for Chappelle's show. Today, some actors weren't walking the red carpet. Instead, they were on their way to a spacecraft. Yeah, that's because today, Russia launched a film crew into outer space. The crew includes actors who are going to make a film. As CNN's Julia Chatterley explains, the U.S. also has similar plans. It's the final frontier of filmmaking and a first for one lucky star who will feature in the first movie made in the stars. It seems like a role custom made for actor Tom Cruise, known for his gravity-defying stunts like hanging off the side of a plane or scaling the world's tallest building. Last year, NASA said it was planning to make a movie with Cruise on the International Space Station. But the winner of this space race is Moscow over Hollywood. Russian actress Yulia Peresild lifts off Tuesday in a Soyuz spacecraft to travel to the International Space Station in what could be one of the most unusual commutes ever to a movie set. I'm not afraid of anything. I just really want us to make a good movie. And I really want our health, which as it turns out to be generally good, to not let us down. The lead actress will be accompanied into space by her director. Both had to learn not only their screen parts, but work with professional cosmonauts for months, undergoing weightlessness training with a backup crew, as well as centrifuge tests and parachute drills. During this time, they really tortured us. They didn't beat us up, though, but made us memorize a lot of unknown abbreviations and squeezed us completely. The two will spend 12 days filming on the space station. Cosmonauts on the ISS will also appear in the movie, which is currently titled The Challenge. And that is what the actress says she expects the experience to be, as she and her colleague will have to play multiple roles. Since he will have to be a camera operator, director, and a lighting engineer, I will have to be a makeup artist, costume designer, and an actress. Fans will have to judge if the film becomes an international blockbuster, but its out-of-this-world location already makes it a groundbreaking movie. That is a super idea. Do they get space pay? I don't know. It's got to be, gotta be a little bit more than normal. The normal. Halloween DIY continues on SA Live, and Fiona is cooking up something spooky. Oh, this is cool. Something I, spooky. I think there's a cauldron something magical. Involved. You yeah. are correct. Yes, you can impress your friends and your neighborhood this Halloween season by creating your very own bubbling cauldron with embers. We are going to show you how to make that today. Look at that. Look at what? how cool that thing looks. Yes, and, and you, we're going to show some, you know, little extra touches you can do to kind of take it up a notch. That. Yes, I did. <laughs> it is right out there. It is really, really impressive. So we want to see, speaking of impressive, some of your Halloween decorations. Send them to us and hopefully we can uh, get some good ideas. It's always great to get good ideas from other people too and yeah. kind of steal them a little bit. Yes. So, so from witches brew to how about some beer brews? <laughs> it is October and that means Oktoberfest. It is time. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Alamo Beer Company is here and Greg Spickler is the brew master and you've got Oktoberfest coming up, we right? Do. Yes, sir. Oktoberfest coming right around the corner, October 21st through 24th. All right. And just a couple of weeks away, we are going to be tasting some of the delicious food that they are going to be serving. Prost. Prost. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. And of course, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and we are checking out some of the really great, unique stuff you can find at Felice Modern. Yep, for Hispanic Heritage Month, and also some little goodies for Day of the Dead as well, because that is just around the corner. I tell you, you get into October, mm -hmm. and then it's all, you know, it's the Holiday. This is it. Hispanic Heritage This is it. This is the train the to the end of the year, Mike. And <laughs> this beer is really tasty, so. All that and more when SA Live continues in just here. a few minutes. Well, now let's look at the forecast, and we're already up to 87, by the way. We'll be definitely around 90 this afternoon. Sunny skies, and you can keep that trend going right on into the weekend. This weekend looks pretty toasty. We will add some humidity back into the equation Sunday, maybe a few showers on Monday.
what is the saying? Bubble, bubble, toil in trouble. Isn't that what the something, witches say? Something when, like that. But that was my question. Who and where is the witch? And what's in that cauldron? Um, eye of Newt, I, I'm told. You're what? Eye <laughs> of Newt. Eye of Newt. That's what's in the cauldron. <laughs> so where's the witch? I and who is know. the witch? I'll have to ask. We'll find out, because SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, you can impress your friends and neighbors this Halloween season by making your own very spooky, bubbling cauldron full of eye of newt. <laughs> Plus, from good brews to good food, we get a taste of Oktoberfest from a local brewery. And celebrating culture, we visit a one-stop shop for Dia de los Muertos inspired goods and check out the local artists as they are, fe that they are featuring for Hispanic Heritage Month. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square, this is SA Live. We are getting spooky <laughs> today. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage, and our Halloween DIY week continues. And by the way, I am Newt. That's what the Adams family always had. It was Eye of Newt and uh, something else, but Aww. all the, the chemicals they put together. So yes, anyway. yes. <laughs> all right. Now, if you're on a gore season, we are sharing DIY tips today for making your very own bubbling cauldron with burning embers. Okay, this so. This thing is very cool. Oh, yeah. We go big for Halloween at my house. So this was my project this year was the, there it is. That is my finished project project that you see in, in front of us. How long did mm -hmm. that take you? Um, it probably took a couple of weekends of work, maybe okay. about three hours a day, just because okay. I was learning as I was going. And I saw some DIY videos on this, and then I just kind of expanded on it. So to get started, you want to make sure you have a sturdy base, something that will, you know, be sure to kind of last in the yard and be able to get wet. All right. And then Whatever size cauldron you're using, this one in front, you know, that I used is a large cauldron that you can find that's say Party City for like $16, but you can find smaller cauldrons. You want to put it in a trash bag or just some sort of, you know, protection to keep it safe from the spray foam that you're about to use. Okay. Then you put it where you want it to be, and then you're going to take some orange lights, and you can find these fairly inexpensive, just regular, regular string of orange mini lights, and you want to place them around the cauldron. Now, depending on how big the cauldron is, you may not want the lights, you know, popping up so high. So since this is a small cauldron, you're just going to take a little bit of tape it can be packing tape it can be gaffer tape and you just want to kind of tape it down kind of here and there to keep it from popping up too high because you don't want to build the foam up and any this higher than doesn't you have to, to be perfect because you are covering it with the spray with foam. the spray foam okay. okay so you can use that or if you have a bigger cauldron you can use chicken wire kind of bend it over you know put it around the cauldron and kind of work your okay. lights through that chicken wire now you're going to do the spray foam so when you do this quick short bursts probably work better because if you just hold that down and spray, I noticed that it started to look like lava. Okay, and you're not, you don't want the lava look, you want that kind of burning ember look. And don't be afraid going, oh no, I'm gonna cover all the lights, it's not gonna shine through. Oh, it's gonna shine through. So go ahead and cover, cover that with spray foam. It's not gonna harm the lights, it will be, it will be just fine. Okay? And remember, spray foam will get on anything and it you won't come off. You wanna wear gloves, yes. And old clothes too, <laughs> yes, if you're doing wear this, gloves so. and old clothes. Okay. And make sure you put something down on the ground if you don't want it to end up on that too. And this is why we've got this cauldron covered because you don't want spray foam mm -hmm. on this because we're actually going to pick it up, right? Correct. Okay. And it also just kind of helps you shape shape it. And you may want to do the foam a little bit higher, closer to the cauldron, so that it just kind of looks a little more like it's sitting in burning embers, okay? okay. So once you kind of get that all, you know, you, you'll go around, you'll make sure you cover all the lights, mm -hmm. you're going to let that dry. Then you can take the cauldron out, and that is what you are left with after the foam dries. Now remember, it's going to expand, okay, so it's going to look even can, bigger than it was I, when you can started. You, can you see that on TV? How about yeah. those? You can actually see the glow right through that spray foam right there. So. Okay. Then okay. you're going to want to get black spray paint, but you're going to want to make sure it is matte spray paint. Or I, I use chalkboard spray paint. And go ahead and start spraying it. And don't, you know, be afraid, oh, no, I'm going to make it too, I might put too much paint here. Just kind of lightly spray side to side, and, you'll, and you want to kind of cover the whole thing. 
Okay. Once you get a section of it covered, because at night, you know, it really doesn't matter what it looks like because the burning embers are what people are going to see. But during the day, when it's sitting out on your lawn, you may want to give it a little bit more of a spooky effect. So Mike is taking some red spray paint, and when you first put it on there, it might be a little too red. So all you got to do is just lightly spray over again with some black spray paint, and it'll kind of dull that red just enough that it looks like it's bloody burning embers, okay? And, and you can, if you stare closely enough at the one that Fiona made, uh, you can kind of see that. It's really hard to see on TV, but you can see that little bit of reddish tinge in there. So, okay, okay so next step. So next step is, if you just want to leave it the way it is like that, you can. But I decided, hey, you know what? Why not get some bones and go ahead and make it look like they're burning in those embers. So you can find like a bag of bones like this at Walmart for less than $10. You spray paint them black and then you can place them on there while the foam is still wet if you want it to just kind of attach to that or if you really want to take the time to place the bones, you can hot glue them on when, you know, once everything is dry okay. and then you can place them that way like I did on this one. So. Coming up, okay, we are going to show you how to create the mist effect, okay, and to create a stand on the inside of the cauldron to support what's going to create the mist. And we are also going to show you how to go ahead and make your cauldron look rusty and look like a witch's brew is pouring out of it. All of that stuff So on all there. that's coming Real up. Real simple technique on there. So, hey, for more information on this, of course, mm -hmm. go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Really, really cool project. I can't wait to finish it. So, all right, we're going to be showing you more on this again coming up in a couple of minutes. Now, we want to see your spooky setups at home. Do you have something that is just out of this world? Maybe it's something that the kids made. We just want to see the pictures of them because, after all, it is Halloween. So, <laughs> so send those pictures in. Yeah, send them in at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we can't wait to see those and feel more of that spooky spirit. Yep. All right, well, whether you're decorating for Halloween, Day of the Dead, or if you just want to support local artists for Hispanic Heritage Month, there's one fun shop in town that can help with all three. Hey, Feliz Modern is no stranger to the SA Live Show. We love supporting them, and today, Jen Tobias Trusky is out there checking out how they are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes, and what better place to come shop than Feliz Modern? One of my favorite places, by the way, and they are ready with Dia de los Muertos things, but also to support local artists for Hispanic Heritage Month. And I have Nastasia joining me now to tell me all about it. Hey, Hello. Hi. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is my happy place. But you have so many great things. Let's start with all of these items here. Yeah, so we have a lot of Day of the Dead themed things like these gorgeous Calavera pillows. They're hand embroidered in Mexico. We have some fun little maraca shakers right here in a variety of colors. There's also these gorgeous um, handmade sacred hearts and they have each one is going to be unique along with these fun super lightweight flower crowns. Mm -hmm. People were rocking them in Fiesta but they're also great for October. There's also just little things to kind of adorn your altars with. We have trees of life here. You can add some candles to those. Those are really cute. Yeah. And do put the little candles yeah, there. You can do little oh, candles. I love and that. Each one is hand painted. Each one is unique. We also have these super fun little kind of like pinata ornaments, but they can also transition to um, winter time. That is adorable. Again, each one is going to be unique. Add and this to my kind. bag. <laughs> you got it. There are some more sacred hearts um, right over there. More just kind of wall decor made in Mexico, um, and they have those little Milagros charms attached. Beautiful, and and the beautiful thing I love about Day of the Dead is is the color, right? And and to, to add these pops of color, but also sometimes it's hard to find items for the altars that yeah, you have at home. Exactly. So this is a good place to come and find that. I love yeah, that. And you're just gonna find a variety of things here. We have more little kind of hand painted tins, a uh, collapsible vase, so you can really just get your flowers in there and then it folds right up and whenever you need it, you can just pull it back out again. Very nice, so many things. And also we are in the middle of Hispanic Heritage Month and you guys are big supporters of local artists. Absolutely. So you have some great things. I'm excited yes, about all yeah. this. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is our pandemic Loteria and it is designed and made locally. This one has been our best seller for at least like over a year and a half. And then 
I'm going to go over um, to these right here. And we have two different Millennial Loteria games. And they're made by an artist in California. And we have just the classic version. But then if you want to have more cards, more players, we have a shiny version. So you have plenty of options here. And we're all just supporting Hispanic Heritage Month. I love that. And, and you said these have been really popular, right? Super popular, yes. We're always restocking them. OK, so you know if you need a good gift, this is yeah. a great place to come. But also over here, you have some other local artists. Um, these are great. I mean, all of this. You want to tell me a little bit about these here? Yeah, so we have these Goncha prints in a variety of flavors by a local artist named Eva Sanchez. We carry a bunch of her uh, work here. We have some along the walls over there. We also just did a launch of the Bonson prints by a local artist, Natalie. And we have all kinds of like foodie prints. There's tahine, there's corn in a cup, there's the infamous De La Rosa. And that tortilla, like the texture alone is like insane. And you just want to collect them all. Yes, these are really cool. So again, just some really unique finds. I love that you guys are supporting these local artists here. And there's so many things. I mean, we're just getting started. I know you also have some Halloween items. Yeah. And just like you said, this is a fun, happy place, y'all. So come out here and we are gonna get a look at your newest items that you have. Again, decor, games, and you mentioned just gift ideas, just right? Gifts. Everything. Yeah, we're always here to help with suggestions. We have it all here. All right, salive.com for more information on Feliz Modern and also to shop online if you prefer that. They have curbside options available, but when we come back out here in the second half of the show, we're gonna do more shopping. You know that, I'm gonna do more shopping. All right, back to you guys. Well, Feliz Modern is one of those stores where you go around and then you have to go around a second time and you, and still, you find something else. You still will see something you didn't see before. And then go around a third time. Yep. All and right. then a few more times. <laughs> well, for more information on Felice Modern, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live, this locally owned company loves home improvement and creates new living spaces for Texas families. And we tap into Oktoberfest with a local brewery that has food and events happening this month. <laughs> Well, it is October, which means it is time for not only Halloween, but Oktoberfest as well. Greg Spickler, brewmaster at the Alamo Beer Company and our best friend right now, all right, has tapped <laughs> into the Oktoberfest spirit. Hello, hello. How's it going today? You brought uh, drinks. Prost. 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 <laughs> yes. yes, indeed. We've got all right. Our, uh, our wonderful Oktoberfest here today, our nice German uh, traditional Marsden style. Nice, uh, lightly hopped. Mm -hmm. Nice uh, okay. amber kind of color. Yes. A little malty, kind of caramelly kind of flavor to it. Now you said good German beers like this are designed, they, they don't have um, like a lot of say um, uh, small brew type beers. They're not really, really hoppy so they go very well with food. Perfect for barbecue, perfect for food, um, nice light crisp uh, flavor so perfect beer to beer with any kind of food. Okay. okay. So now we've got some food in front of us, right? Yeah, we're gonna have our we have our, our sausage sandwich over here, a nice kielbasa sausage. All right, um, grilled on a uh, pretzel bun. Okay. Top it off a little sauerkraut, maybe some jalapenos if you want to. Wonderful uh, cornichon pickles there. Sauerkraut and mustard okay. on mine, please. <laughs> yes. And the flies are in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it happens. And then you got a nice Bavarian pretzel over there. Okay. Got a little brush, a little olive oil, throw some salt on it. And in that in that mustard there. Want to throw a little bit of maybe mustard on this one, like yeah. you said, yeah. and <laughs> eat it with a good German beer. We are all set. So uh, all the festivities and what all is going to be going on besides the beer and the food there? Yeah. So the Oktoberfest is uh, October 21st through 24th. Uh, we're going to have a lot of great live music. The Tuba Meisters, Dirk Kleinsteins, the Accordion Cowboy, Chris Rybeck. Colton's can, and we're going to kick everything off with the Beethoven Manicor. Okay. Um, of course. Yes, yes. Beethoven Manicor. <laughs> yeah. Of course, when you come out on Thursday, see the Beethoven Manicor, we're going to um, tap the uh, inaugural cask. It's going to be a chocolate cherry porter, um, and that's going to be tapped by KSAT's own David Elder. Mm. So come check that out. Lucky you can get him. the. Uh, yeah. The Oktoberfest uh, specialty uh, dust boot here. Mm -hmm. Fill at Oktoberfest, whatever beer you like, for $20. Um, it's a family friendly, fun event, so come check it out. Um, it's gonna be a great time. And then Saturday as well, we're gonna have the United Way Blood Drive. So, good cause, come out there. 
get some blood, and then have some great time. If you wear leader hosen, do you get like a free beer or something like that? Uh, I so definitely you know, get a high five, maybe. You do yeah, get a high five. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And pretzel bun, and we've got. Oh. <laughs> There's no graceful way to do that. Yeah, that's right? right. It's it's messy. It's you know all all, all good things should be. So. And you are a graduate of the Culinary Institute of America. Yes, of America. Yes. Yeah, but in uh, Hyde Park, New York. Of course, we have the wonderful San Antonio location. Mm -hmm. So proud to support that, and uh, you know further on San Antonio's food and beer scene. Okay. And how long is Alamo Beer Company working to be sustainable? Uh, we have a lot of sustainable projects. We get a lot of our uh, energy from solar. We uh, recapture our CO2. Uh, we are constantly working to improve our, our uh, sustainability and uh, decrease our footprint. Okay. Now besides Oktoberfest, I mean, you're open all the time. What's on the menu? Uh, we have a lot of great German and uh, Tex-Mex kind of inspired food, of course. Uh, a lot of sausage, a lot of pork, a lot of pretzels. Um, a lot of barbecue kind of deal for Oktoberfest, but uh, year-round we have um, wonderful uh, Tex-Mex barbecue. And, a, a fair and the variety of beers that you have there? Uh, we have about 20 to 30 beers on tap at all times, plus wine. So something for everybody. Uh, and some soda, uh, South Valley Craft Soda as well. So bring the entire family, the family fun event, something for everybody. Okay. okay. And even if you're not like a real heavy stout beer drinker, there's some lighter light beers. Light beers, we got Pilsners, we have uh, under 100 calorie light beers, we have sour beers, everything. Something for everybody. Everybody. What's the most popular thing on the menu? Uh, on the menu, I'd say our uh, brisket nachos and our sausage sandwich are, are definitely the biggest sellers. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> there it is. All right. Tell folks where how they can find you. We are uh, just north of the Alamo Dome off of uh, uh, Burnett Street, uh, just, just about a block or two north of Houston, underneath the Hay Street Bridge. All right. So, yes, that's a yes. That's yes, he loves it. All right, for more information on Alamo Beer Company, mm. all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Greg, thank you very thank you much. All right, still ahead on SA Live, we finished making our bubbling cauldrons for Halloween DIY week. And Expo Home Improvement is here to renew your living space with local experts that understand your Texas home and a home sweepstakes too. What you can win next. improvement and creating renewed spaces for you to live, love, and enjoy. When it comes to replacement windows, doors, and shower solutions that are right for Texas and our unique climate, Expo Home Improvement can provide expert solutions. And here to tell us more is Amanda McDaniel, Director of Marketing for Expo Home Improvement. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hi there. Okay, so we touched on a few of your services, but what products does Expo Home Improvement offer? Yeah, absolutely. So we, for 15 years, have specialized in the bath and shower renovation space. Um, that is our specialty. Um, we've also, for 15 years, been um, specializing in window replacement and door replacement for your home. And we just actually um, introduced attic insulation into our mix. So whether it be bath, shower, window replacement, or door replacement attic, we got you covered. So you just mentioned adding addicts to the mix. Um, what makes Expo Home Improvement different? What else? Yeah, so, you know, we put our heart right here on our logo for a reason, because we are a company with heart. Like I said, we've been serving in Texas for 15 years, so we know our Texas families, and we know the heart of every single home is a family. So we're going to treat you right. Uh, we are really big on integrity, excellence, and service. We take that to heart. So we're going to treat you right, and uh, we're going to treat you well and do that project well for you. So for the folks that want to take on that project right now, they're looking for that change and that upgrade and that improvement, how can they schedule an appointment? It's very simple. So you can go to our website, expohomeimprovement.com, and there's a button on there where you can get a free quote, or you can even choose your own appointment. Select your day and time um, and make that appointment yourself. But we have wonderful, friendly agents. And if you give us a call, uh, we'll take good care of you. We'll answer all your questions and find a time that's gonna be best for you. And you have a contest for folks watching right now. What can they enter to win? We do. This is our third sweepstakes of our year. We're ending with a bang. You get to choose your own project up to $10,000 towards your next project with Expo Home Improvement. That's a bath remodel, shower remodel, window replacement, attic insulation. You get to choose your prize. We're drawing a lucky winner on December 13th. 
go to our website, expohomeimprovement.com, uh, enter, it is free, there's no obligation. I wanna pull your name on December 13th, so go enter today. What do some of the customers say after a project is finished? Oh my goodness, the first thing we hear, it's very common. We hear people all the time say, why did I not do this sooner? That is the first thing people say when we put in a project. And then they say, thank you. And they tell us how much they love our company. It's amazing how they call people by name, their sales rep or, or maybe the person who installed, they know them by name and they tell us, wow, I'm so glad I chose you. Um, we would love to serve you and, and uh, we love making customers happy. All right, enter Expo Home Improvement's Love Your Home Sweepstakes for a chance to win a new bath remodel or window project worth $10,000. Just go to expohomeimprovement.com. The winner will be drawn December 13th. For more information or to book an appointment, just call the number on your screen, 210-319-4120. That's 210-319-4120 or head to expohomeimprovement.com. Hey, we take you back to local gift hotspot for Lee's Modern for more decor ideas this season. And we show you the final steps for creating your very own DIY Halloween bubbling cauldron. Welcome back, everyone. And we are going to finish making Fiona's bubbling cauldron. I kind of worry that this is kind of a real cauldron with her. Because so, <laughs> yes. you made it so well. So in the, the last segment, we did the, the burning embers mm -hmm. here with uh, lights and then spray foam painted it um, with the red and a little, or the black and a little bit of red, I should say, put some bones on there. Now we have to do the cauldron. Correct. So the first thing we're gonna do is, if you want to make your cauldron look like it has a witch's brew kind of spilling out of it, and you can find these cauldrons at, say, Party City, or even Walmart used to sell them a couple of years ago, all you do is just take a little bit of Mod Podge and some oatmeal, okay, and you want to mix it together. Now you want more oatmeal than Mod Podge in that mixture, and if you let it sit out for say even an hour, it gets really nice and tacky enough to work on when you, you apply it to the cauldron. Otherwise, it's just going to drip you down. You made this about eleven yeah. o'clock this morning, and so, it's okay. you know it's at a good point. Right. So I left some unfinished right here for you, and all you want to do is you just start using either a spoon or your fingers or whatever. This is something the kids can have a lot of fun doing. And you just start making it look like a witch's brew is spilling out. And you know, it could be frogs, it could be Eye of Newt, it could be whatever in that witch's brew, right? And the best thing about this is, uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I mean, look at that, it, mm -hmm. how great that looks. Yep, okay, so here's how you make your cauldron look a little bit rusty, a little bit old, because you know, a, a regular plastic cauldron, well, it looks all shiny and new. So you wanna take some acrylic, you know, just some acrylic paint and you want say copper, you want uh, like maybe a brown, you maybe want a black acrylic paint and that will kind of help create a rusty look. Okay. So you just kind of start taking your brush and just dab, 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 you know, around the oatmeal, okay? And you wanna just kind of keep working your way around. You, do a, you can mix the copper and the black together. There's really no wrong way to do this because honestly, I did this in what, five minutes earlier? Yeah. And it looks fantastic. Fantastic. Don't think, y'all. Just paint, okay? Then when you get around it all, you, once the Mod Podge dries, which some of this has already dried, so Mike is going to take some of the green and then you put the green on the oatmeal portions, all right? And that will look like that witch's brew spilling out, okay? Then you let that dry. You can aim a fan at it and really speed up the process like we did earlier. So. The next step is to really make sure you have that nice bubbling witch's brew mist going on. So in the past, you've probably used dry ice, but then you have to kind of, you know, you got to put some towels in there. And that gets expensive too. It gets expensive. Yeah. You know, you're constantly pouring water. If you have a large cauldron like this, you're going to want to get some dowel rods, cut them to fit. You measure to the inside of the cauldron and mm -hmm. maybe get, you know, um, 
a plastic tray or a, a round foam uh, a foam piece, and then that can be for, for the large cauldron that you can find at the craft store. For the small cauldron, I found this at Hobby Lobby. They are smooth foam discs, okay, and I just got three because I took the cauldron with me to measure, and you just kind of stick them in there and then stick them down. You can hot glue them together if you want, but for right now, just to show you, all right, you would put that at the top, and you can see that right here, there's still some edge you know, showing. So you wanna make sure we seal that, okay? So you can take plastic or you can just take the, the tape, okay? And you would just seal this shut, okay? So that the brew just spills over the edge, okay? And then you can kind of cut that. You can use um, gaffer tape, you know, you know, tuck it down, okay? And then once that is finished, all you're going to do is put your mist maker in. So instead of dry ice, what I found, and I just kind of found this on Amazon, are these kind of little ultrasonic mist makers. And that's what's going right now in that large cauldron, okay? So you wanna make sure you put the water in first, okay? You don't want to you know, have your hands in there when, 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 you, when you plug it in and you turn it on. You put the water in first, you make sure it's maybe under about an inch, inch and a half of water and then you turn it on and that's gonna be your effect and that's just going to keep going. Now, of course, the bigger the cauldron, the longer this will go without you having to refill it. About how deep can those be in the water? You said about, about two a, inches About maybe? an inch and a half okay. to two inches, not any more than that, okay? So that, so that is the, the final look. And then you can go ahead and use, instead of just bones to decorate it, you know, you can go to the, like, you know, the dollar stores or, you know, or the craft stores and you can find those kind of um, uh, skeleton spiders mm -hmm. or skeleton this or even the felt spiders. And you can really glue those to the cauldron. You can glue it to the burning embers or around the burning embers to really make it pop in your yard. Really? And what I'm gonna have going, in addition to what you see right there, is I'm gonna have kind of a blue light aimed at it so that you can really see the skull Ooh. and bones effect at night. Because you kind of lose that as it gets yeah. darker and darker and darker. Where do you put that, on your front porch? Uh, no, it's gonna be uh, down a little further next to my phantom. Okay. <laughs> And that she was is, my She my is cackle. the Clark Griswold of <laughs> Halloween decorations. If you would like more information on making this cauldron, and it is very, very cool looking, uh, and it's not a difficult project, just go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Very good, Fiona. I Ooh. am impressed. All right. Next on SA Live, Jen is taking us back out to Felice Modern to look at decor and other fun local finds. Earlier, we took you out to Felice Modern to see what they have for Day of the Dead, and now they're supporting local Hispanic artists for Hispanic Heritage Month. And now it is time, the winner is, to see all the other decor that they have all year long. Here's Jen. We're back out here at Felice Modern. One of the coolest things about this place is that you guys get a lot of new items, and this is a customer favorite, right? Oh, absolutely. That one is just the packaging alone. It's super cute. Look at that. Like, like real tortilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I think I'm going to get me one of these today. I'm going to hold on to that. But let's talk about what's new here. Yeah, so, I mean, we're known for just having really, like, fun gifts and we have everything from like just like a bunch of mugs that just make you laugh out loud. <laughs> we kind of have kind of like bar section, great for housewarming, someone who's like a super foodie, they just want that spice, want that flavor. We have locally made siete hot sauces and then um, some koozies, flasks, something to just add to your michelada, to your beer on the weekend. And one of my favorite things here that I love that you guys have them all the time are those monkey lights up those there. Those are just so cool. They're works of art. <laughs> they are so yeah, adorable. We, we keep them around because the customers absolutely love them and they're just so fun to just add that nice statement to your home. That's a great word to describe everything here. Fun. And <laughs> and so the pillows are great and I know you all have a lot of things for dogs and dog lovers, We're right? dog lovers here, <laughs> for sure. Beautiful. And then back here, tell me about this. This is really cool. So yeah, we have like this Pajaki chandelier. There's two versions and those are made in India. They're made of paper, super detail, just all the details. Um, they're lightweight and they're just a fun feature of the store. Great to just decorate your home. Someone just said that they used it for a baby room. Yes. Just to give it some color. And it's not like your average, like, you know, 
then you're gonna find the conversation piece. Yeah. I love that. And so obviously there's blankets, there's yeah. wallets. I mean, so many things and the colors always pop at me. Yeah, and we're just like wishful thinking. We can't wait for it to like cool off. So we have yes. um, a variety of just like throw blankets, textures, color, we're, we're here for it all and candles and then I, I have to say this is also one of my favorite <laughs> things now my babies are not this little anymore but how cute is that so gift ideas galore here um, and with the holidays coming up you guys are going to be stocking more ornaments and yes. just uh, so many things and you're always here to help right if people always have questions we love giving suggestions we, we're getting our list down of like gift guides just to better help everyone but Perfect. Tons of accessories, tons of purses. We have a whole jewelry case right there. A lot of it is filled with local makers work. Beautiful. And it's just it's just one of the things we love to do is just support local artists. So again, supporting the local artist here and you can find a gift for anybody here. I really do believe that. So it's such a great place located. You want to tell people where to find yeah, it? We are at 110 West almost, and then we're also at uh, the Pearl, and then we also just opened a third location, which I think y'all just went to check out. Yes. Rancho Diaz, also at the Pearl. So many things. <laughs> we're <Thanks>. everywhere. <laughs> yes, I love it. Thank you so much for having us. And again, salive.com for more information, or just come down here and shop yeah, and have a good down. time. You won't leave. Empty hand. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Back to you guys. Oh. Stocking stuffers too. I know. Just that little something. Or and again, a, really unique things. Neat little hostess gift if you're yes. going to you know, a Christmas mm -hmm. party or something like that or mm -hmm. Halloween party. Yeah. All right, for more information on Police Modern, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Scene on SA Live tab. All right, next on SA Live, how you can get a smile transformation from Dr. Monara, starting with a complete smile consultation for free. change your life. He's been changing smiles all over San Antonio, helping people gain confidence and self-esteem. And the inspiring stories he has for us are always amazing. Joining us now is Dr. Alfonso Menares with Stone Ridge Dental. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me again, Fiona. Of course. Now you specialize in reconstructing smiles with all on for procedure. What kind of issues are patients going through when they contact you about it? Well, Fiona, the kind of patient that comes to see me is that patient that's basically looking for hope. You know, is that patient that's been suffering for many, many years for a number of reasons. They're missing multiple teeth or all their teeth. They have gum disease. They have a lot of cavities. They don't like their, their smile. Their teeth hurt or they're worn down. They want to look younger. They want to look happier. And they've been trying for so many years to fix their teeth. And, and they still have problems. So I'm kind of the guy at the end of the line when, when there's no other option, they come to see me. And the Olon 4 is a replacement of teeth with dental implants that can give us a blank canvas to recreate all those things and give them a beautiful smile and a healthy mouth without having to worry about these problems anymore. Now you mentioned the all on four is you know kind of starting with a blank canvas. Is it an easy process? And you know what are the steps to get that dream smile? All right. Well, generally speaking, it's actually a very sophisticated treatment. However, for patients, it's a wonderful experience because once they've been diagnosed and we have our planning, they come to our office, they get sedated, and they're sleeping 90% of the treatment. They come out the same day with a beautiful set of new teeth that is fixed, doesn't come out of the mouth. It looks beautiful because it's custom made for them. So it's like a dream come true. After that, once the body heals, the steps are super simple. 90% of the work is done in one day, very comfortable. They're sleeping, they don't feel anything. And, and it's the beginning of their new life. And I think all those feels start when yeah. they see that smile. And Absolutely. I mean, that's a whole different ball game for them, you know? And you have a story for us about one patient, Teresa Gonzalez. How did you change her life? Well, this was life changing for Teresa. Beautiful lady, you know, full of love, full of energy, but she was holding back because of her dental condition. She didn't like her front teeth. She was missing her back teeth. And it took a lot for her to make the decision to build the courage to call us she had amazing support of her family, came to us, we, we treatment plan for her for the Olon 4. So we replaced all her teeth with dental implants in one day. And you can see her now. She's full of love, full of energy. You can't stop her. You want to be around her. She, she's, she's just the center of attraction anywhere she goes. It truly changed her life. And, and it's just a wonderful, it's not about teeth. It's about all the other things that, that come back when, when you can be yourself again and you don't have to hide and hold back.
And we're gonna hear from Teresa right now. First time I went in, they embraced me when I walked in. They were just so loving, so caring. They made me feel like family. They sat down and explained everything in detail, the, what to expect, what not to expect, uh, the timeline. It, it was just absolutely amazing. And it was just a great procedure because I didn't feel a thing. And to see my smile the way I had always dreamed about seeing just put tears in my eyes, tears of happiness. Uh, and it was amazing. I even get teared up now because it's just so amazing to feel the way you feel. They are the best. There's hands down, no other dentist can, uh, can match to Dr. Monatis and his staff. The first 10 people to call will get the Love Your Smile offer. It's a free, complete smile consultation. That's $350 in savings. The number to call is 210. 864-9622. And for more information, visit ImplantSanAntonio.com. Dr. Menares, thank you so much. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, our Halloween DIY, DIY week continues, and it's all about treats. So yes, we show you how to make your own candy and how to turn that candy into show-stopping desserts. Plus, throwing a Halloween bash, how to put, put a spooky twist on your party platter. It's a fantastic foodie episode of our Halloween DIY week. That's tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. Ah, the Halloween decorations, it's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Are you okay, Fiona? Char Look at all these great decorations that Charity has. Spooky fun at my house. Oh, cool, Mandy. I like that one. And that's from Mandy. Oh, that one's cool. Like Medusa. Oh, look at that. And yeah, the snakes. The trip or treat essay. Oh, love that. Oh, it's a candy corn. Great. Happy Halloween from Jacob. Love that. All right, don't forget tomorrow, Halloween week does continue and it's all about the treats. And we're gonna, I, I think the question should be, what candy do you steal out of your kid's bag? Because remember, you have oh, to I check them out. Oh, I can see you out. doing that. What's yours? Twix. Yeah. Oh. And there is Fiona's cauldron. That is a prize winner. <laughs> Yay! I'm almost ashamed to do mine on Thursday. <laughs> have a we'll great Tuesday, everybody. One.